You want to learn about 433? Okay, February 6th in Florence. Maurizio Sarri will be the visiting tutor, Vincenzo Italiano, the host. The viola coach has made his preparations. La mentalità deve essere sempre uguale in casa e fuori, cercare di proporre, cercare di giocare, cercare di ottenere il massimo da ogni partita. 75% of Fiorentina's attacks come from the flanks. Three players on each wing, fullback, center midfield and winger. On the right, it's Odrio Zola who attacks the space. If the advance is blocked, the team starts again from the back. Same trio on the same flank with the same formula. This time, as expected, they find space. Bonaventura will bring in Gonzalez. Try and pick out a teammate. It's a header from Vlaovic. That's just glanced wide. Fiorentina make 20 crosses per game, the most in Serie A along with Inter and Roma. Gonzalez, ball on the far post, Mali! Tessic, now headed in, and there's the equaliser. These flanking attacks worked wonders when Vlahovic was at the center of the Viola attack, but they will still play a pivotal role in Fiorentina's game, even without the Serbian striker. Saponara in support, here he is, lovely flick, Andrei Osola, and now Vlahovic! Brilliant goal! The wonderful build-up play from Saponara and Andrei Osola. 33% of the side's goals have come from crosses. Another staple of Italiano's philosophy, quickly switching play from one side to the other. Three passes are all it takes to move the ball across the pitch, from Saponara to Callejon, targeting the weaker side of the opponent's defense. Which loses positioning, opening up spaces behind them for the Viola to strike. Buonaventura, Sorena, space opening up in the Udinese back line. Fiorentina are third best in Serie A when it comes to attacking width, with 44 meters. You can see this switch of play using the full width of the pitch against Genoa, a devastating strategy. This is Saponara, using the overlapping run of Diraghi. Saponara! That is wonderful! Tight ranks and a high-paced possession game. This is Sarri's conception of 4-3-3. Mi sembra in crescita anche in quello che piace a me, una squadra di fraseggio bello, rapido, veloce, che poi riesce a verticalizzare improvvisamente. It was perfectly displayed against Sampdoria. The ball was moved back and forth in front of the defense before being launched upfield. Once the ball got to the strikers, a quick one-two on the edge of the box created the scoring opportunity. Immobile can put it wide. It goes all the way to Milinkovic Savic and it's in! 525 short passes per game for Lazio. 125 more than average in Serie A. Strikers running towards the ball and playing with one touch. Sarri ball was at its best against Genoa. The speed is a canny to finish with a flourish. And the coach doesn't mind throwing a midfielder in the mix. Suddenly it's 4-2-4. Against Roma, Milinkovic Savic started on the forward line with Immobile and Felipe Anderson. After a 1 2 with a striker, he made an attacking run to add another option to the Bianco Celesti's offense. Now Felipe Anderson. Milinkovic Savic! This caused Fiorentina some problems in the reverse fixture when the Serbian effectively acted as centre forward. Milinkovic Savic is neat and tidy. It's Pedro! An astonishing 31 scoring chances created by Milinkovic Savic so far. And you can add another 31 created by Luis Alberto, another midfielder turned forward under Maurizio Sarri. Serie A virtual coach. Calcio in numbers. <laughs>